All right, guys. So um, today, let's do some infix, postfix, and prefix. Now, these are all different ways to write mathematical expressions. So, what does that what does that mean? Like a mathematical expression? Well, like two x plus five. That's a mathematical expression. It's got numbers in it. It's got you know like an operator. Um, I mean, basically anything you write in uh, math, you know, like anything that can be like evaluated, um, that's a mathematical expression. So let's actually give you an example. Well, see, like a plus b, that's a mathematical expression. 2x plus 5, that's a mathematical expression. Um, and these can all be evaluated. And it's basically what you write in math. So let's actually get some vocab down. A term is basically anything you can put in a parentheses. Um, so like a is a term, however a plus b is also a term and 2x plus 5 is also a term. And what I want you to see from that is that there can be terms inside of terms. So like this whole big 2x plus 5, that can be one term. However, inside of it we have a 2x, that is a term, and we have a 5, that's a term. So this whole big term has two terms inside of it. Um, and also an operator is like plus, minus, times, divided by, and this like, I don't know, tree looking sort of thing. Uh, that's, that's basically putting something to the power of. So like, I don't know, if I wanted to say like 5 to the power of 2, I would write 5 tree symbol 2. Um, you're not going to see square roots, at least not with this stuff that I'm going to be working it uh, with. If you want to see a square root, you just raise it to the power of one half. That's how it's going to work. And an operand is what you do operations to, as uh, as, a, as much of a cop-out that definition is. Like 5 plus 3, 5 and 3 are the operands, and in between we have an operator. And, uh, so let's go to inf... So let's uh, check some of these out. Now, Again, the reason that we do this is because computers like to read prefix and postfix much better than they like to read infix. Um, so basically what you do in prefix, uh, what you do in any of these is uh, it matters what the order of the operators are. So like we're used to seeing infix, uh, which is putting everything all on one line. And we're pretty familiar with this if we ever have to punch anything into a calculator. And it just goes, you know, a plus b. Um, the operator is in the middle of the two different terms. Um, however, in prefix, you put the operator first and then the two terms. And in postfix, it goes after. Now, something I want you guys to notice is that stuff like a minus b, the order matters there. It matters if it's a minus b or if it's b minus a. And the order matters in prefix and postfix too. And generally, the way that works is that if we want to do a minus b, we do a uh, we do you know minus sign a b, and it knows the first number is being subtracted by b. Um, same works with division. Uh, be careful of the order there. And also, if you want to raise something to the power of another thing, um, use that crazy symbol right there. And the order matters because you know. It's 5 to the power of 2 or 2 to the power of 5, because those are different things. Um, all right, so let's... Whoops, hold on. All right, so like, how do we do this, though, with multiple terms? Um, this is when it gets tricky, but it's fun. Let me get a cool color. So basically, you just have to first... And, and we're converting from infix to prefix right now. What you have to do, first of all, is uh, just to, what's it called? Put parentheses around all the different terms. So anything that's a term, put a parentheses around it. In fact, I should put parentheses around C to, I mean, C also. Um, hold on. Having some technical difficulties. There we go. And then, you know, like... Those are implied. I mean, I'm honestly not going to waste time with putting it there. Um, so we work with PEMDAS. Uh, remember PEMDAS? It's just, you know. First, what we do is pr the parentheses. So 
in Infix, like if you were to evaluate this, the first thing you'd have to evaluate is what's in here. And it's also the first thing that you're going to convert. So it's prefix. So we have to do the operator and then the two different terms, a, b. And to, now, you don't need parentheses when you're working with prefix and postfix. That's partially why people love it so much. However, for our sake, I want you to use parentheses just because it helps you see it more, see what you're working with. So now we got this term evaluated, this whole term. And now what I'm going to need you to think of is don't think of A and B and each of those as a term. I want you to think of this whole thing in the white parentheses as being one term. So A plus B is all one term right now. And then, so it's just term times term, and, we, and the second term is C, of course. And we know how to do that. So we just write C and then multiplication sign. So if we were to convert that back, and then, of course, we put that in parentheses. Now, if we were to convert that back, we look at, like, straight down the middle. We look at, like, the most, um, the, you know, the term uh, that's closest to the center of the equation, basically. And we see, okay, A, B, and a plus sign. So we know that equals A plus B. And then put that in a parentheses because we just converted it. And then we see, oh, that whole thing, this whole you know term in the parentheses was multiplied by C. So we put times C. And for postfix, it's kind of the same thing. Just A, B, plus sign at the end of that. And then you're like, oh, but we're multiplying by C. And uh, so we write C here and then postfix. So first term, second term, operator. So like I don't want you guys to get so confused with but oh no AB AB plus isn't a term. Well, it is a term and you have to think of it like one. So let's do a really crazy hard problem. Um see the craziest part about this this isn't an infix. This is not infix. This is like I don't know I don't know what this is really called. It's just like a mathematician wrote this. So we have to first uh, convert this whole disgusting thing to uh, infix. So we do, oh, whoops, sorry. So we do a minus, now we got b divided by c plus d. However, oh, whoops, sorry, that's a, that's a minus there, guys. My bad. How do I fix this? All right. Whoops. All right, who cares? That's fine. It's technically gray, but let's say minus that plus D. And then this is all to the power of one half. So it's all to the power of that. And then this is all divided by a plus b. That is absolutely horrendously disgusting. But now we have it in infix. And you're going to need to think of PEMDAS again. And let's, let's start to convert this. Now, I think this is one of those problems where there are different ways you can look at this. And there's different ways you can evaluate it. Um, but I'm going to start right here uh, in this term. So I'm going to go, just go with, um, well, let's do prefix first. So let's do B, C, division sign. That should make sense to you because, you know, um, it's B, the first term, divided by C. And the operator comes first, obviously. And then put this in parentheses. And then work your way out. Now, this is subtraction, so this order matters. Order matters here. Um, and A needs to come first. So we put A there, and then the operation, the operator is a subtraction. So we put that there. However, let's not forget our friend uh, plus D. And order doesn't really matter there, but. Still, let's be nitpicky. 
we do D and then plus sign. See, the reason I, I, I did that is because I didn't think of it as D plus these two separate terms. I thought of it as D plus this whole thing. Like, all it, this whole thing, almost like we don't even care what's inside of it. It's just D plus whatever's in there. Okay, and I don't want, that's exactly the, the key to success on these problems, is that you have to think of things as a term and not get confused by what's necessarily inside of there. So, so we have made a little bit of progress. Let's work our way one level out. Oh, so now here's a, here's a bit of a tricky part. It's to the power of one half. So we know that, okay, the operation for to the power of is, well, it's technically that when we're working with these, it's that like up sign and we're, we're working to the power uh, to with one half. However, I can't write one half because that's infix. So I got to convert that simultaneously to prefix. So it's that. Now that might be a little confusing, but basically look at what I, uh, look at what we got. It's still all of this stuff and this. So we got two terms working here. It's this to the power of that. Um, it's this big term to the power of the little term. And the little term is just 1 divided by 2 because it's 1 half. And, uh, we are almost to the end of this problem. And now we got to divide this all, this whole thing. we got to divide it by A plus B. So the operator is division. That and the and the term is a plus b. However, we can't just have a plus b. We got to convert it to something. Uh, we got to convert a plus b to prefix, and that's just plus a b. And I believe that we are done. Now I know that took a long time, and I think I might have been going a little too fast. So in class. Um, I'm going to go over these slowly and figure out where we're having problems. Um, but I'm also going to link some uh, cool websites that help me learn this. Because I only learned this like five hours ago. Um, to basically help you guys uh, learn it on your own too, at your own pace. But I just want you to look at this, uh, look at the problems that I did on here uh, as kind of a guide. Uh, for you to figure out if you're doing it the right way uh, might not necessarily be the best place to learn it from scratch but I think the websites are um, but in the next video I'm going to do a lot more on converting from prefix and postfix uh, into infix like so converting the crazy looking stuff into stuff we can understand um, so until then uh, good luck on these uh, the American Computer Science League website has some good resources that you can uh, check out and has some good worksheets with some sample problems. So until then, do those and good luck.